try out this for you. I'm just going to grab my phone. And this is our cracking adventure competition winner. Hello, Edward. Nice to meet you. Okay, so today what we're going to do, Edward, is we're going to have a quick look around the Kundal offices, just yeah. so that you can have a look at what Kundal life in the office is like. And then two of our graduates have kindly agreed to do a short presentation to give you an idea of their experiences when they first joined Kundal and what it's like working as a graduate in a consulting engineer's company. Yeah. And then the, the real fun gets underway because we're going to head across to um, the Lee Valley. Yay! A project that Kundal has been involved with and also have a run down the rapids at Lee, at Lee Valley. Very exciting. <laughs> I'm Edward. I'm at the University of Portsmouth studying civil engineering and I'm in second year. Brilliant. Okay. So you're currently maybe looking for a place then? Yeah, that's exactly right. We've just started at uni yep. doing their preparation and stuff like this. So. Fab. Yeah. So um, you look, like I said, looking for a placement this year. Um, you obviously have been using Grad Crack and having a look. If you could yeah, just tell right. me why you find it so useful in looking for a placement. I think the main thing is because it's all in one place. Mm -hmm. So I find a lot of a lot of big companies on there and small. Yeah. Just a big variety, and it's easy to search for things. And I don't know if people know, but if you make an account, yeah. then you can um, you can like add stuff to your dashboard, companies that you're interested in, and stuff yeah. like this, and find more and more placements. And then I haven't started applying yet, but I'm right. sure it'll be useful yeah, at that stage definitely. as well, because you can click straight through to the application form. I'm an electrical engineer here at Condo. I have a master's degree in electrical engineering. I graduated from the University of Southampton, and so I've been here for just over two years. I'd always known I wanted to be an engineer. I'm more numerical, I'm more analytical. I prefer working with numbers, facts, and I'm more like, I want to prove things, so I never, I wasn't big on theory, writing essays, so it was a straight road, and I, I come from a family of engineers. As an engineer, you want to invent something, you want to create something, and on this platform, you get to create environments. Hi, you all right? Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Paul Harrison, I'm from Kundal. I'm a senior card technician in the civil engineering section, and I worked on the uh, whitewater canoe course at Lee Valley. Valley Centre. Can you hear that okay or not? Yeah. And that's where we're going now. Yeah, that's where we're going now. Um, Do you know what the difference is between a canoe and a kayak? I think in one, you've got your legs out in front of you and in one you're nailing. Is this it? Yeah, that's yeah. one of them, yeah. We first started working on this scheme in about 2007. Um, not long after it was announced that we'd won the Olympics. We started off on one site, heavily contaminated, and we had to move it to another one. So that was the first. Is it, is it a landfill site. Is it, it is a landfill site. And we worked on a, a landfill site before, which was worse than the one we ended up in. So it's a kind of landfill. Call, we call it a brown field, a bit of a brown field. Although it was grass, there was landfill, contaminated landfill. So uh, there were quite a few issues to solve. And in this, hopefully, this book that I've got together for you will, will answer some of those. Um, and is one thing I, I should say. That Whilst we designed the civil engineering bit, the main guys who kind of designed the Whitewater, which is what it's all about, was an Australian-American guy, and they are both an Olympic, previous Olympic, he competed for Australian Olympics, a canoeist. The starting point was actually looking at other courses, Sydney in 2000, that's Sydney in 2000, Athens in 2004, and Beijing in 2008. These were kind of, we did a bit of research and searching on, the guys who helped design ours, they designed that one. So our course, essentially that's ours. Um, that's the Olympic course, 300 metres long, start pool, the pool, this is where you would start, the water comes out with pumps there, and there's, there's, there's obstacles in there that create the white water, and, and that's the finish down there, that's the body of water, the take draws the water in and pumps it to the start pool, and then you have the smaller course, Sim similar principle, the water is taken from a lower height and pumped into the start pool and around the course, um, and that's called the legacy course, and it's 160 metres long. So when the pumps are off, the water will just drop in. In actual fact, I think the water, all this water drops to about here. So that you can see the concrete there. And this one goes even for, further and the, the level in the lake rises. So, and, and that's the just my, my bit of spin on, on what it was like for me and, and the industry out and working on that. So that's good. you can read that here, Leisure. So, Thank you very okay, much. Great.
we've just finished our white water rafting um, lesson and it was very eventful. We have no injuries, so we've all really enjoyed ourselves. So I'd just like to say a big thank you for Helen and Paul uh, today for looking after Grad Crocker and Edward. I know we've really enjoyed ourselves. It was a great experience. <laughs> it's one to remember. Um, so again, just like to say thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Come. Thank you.